What's going on guys? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Happy Sunday to you. Hope you're doing well. Let's talk a little bit about the emergency descent. I'm going to use the A320 as an example, but really what I'm about to share with you is universal with really any jet aircraft. Masks use, signs on, initiate the descent. Once we get that descent initiated, speed brake extend, and down we go essentially on this emergency descent. Now the first part of this mask use on the 7.3 would be DOM mask, set regulator 100%, established crew communication. It's really pretty much the same thing. The signs on is a fasten seatbelt sign, and we initiate the descent. Let's talk about the initiating of the descent part for a moment. How do we actually start down? First and foremost, from the flight control unit, or the FCU, also commonly referred to as a mode control panel, or the MCP and other airplanes. They're more similar than they are different folks' airplanes. Essentially, what we're going to do is set a lower altitude, level change or open descent, pretty much the same thing, get the aircraft going down. If we're on an airway, we typically turn 45 degrees off the airway and then we will adjust the airspeed appropriately to increase the rate of uh, descent. Finally, we get down to the speed brakes uh, to further increase that rate of descent. That airspeed, let's talk about airspeed for a second. There's a couple rules of thumb. Some people say use the expedite push button to get down expeditiously on the 320 and other people, they say, well, don't. And I'm going to tell you, I think you want to manipulate and control your speed manually so as to have full authority over how fast we're coming down based on any structural damage and the structural integrity of the aircraft. We don't know if it was an explosive decompression, if there's any damage externally on the airplane, and therefore it's a good idea to manually control your speed on an emergency descent uh, just in case we feel some abnormal airframe vibration that we're not too keen on, we can quickly uh, reduce that speed without any additional FCU selection or MCP selection, and we can get ourselves in a better position uh, to come down safely. Also, automation. Keep the automation on. You're going to want the autopilot on. You're going to want the auto thrust on or the auto throttle in the case of any other jet. You're going to want it all on, and the reason you want it on is because A, it reduces workload, and B, it's a safety net. It's a guard against if we go hypoxic, at the very least, we've set a lower altitude, got the airplane descending, it'll level off uh, at that lower altitude. We come back to consciousness, hopefully at that point, and we're still flying safely, and we can recover from that point. So you certainly want to keep the automation on. I have seen some crews, I think just in the heat of the moment, they kind of, uh, you know, they, they disconnect the automation. Um, but remember, take a, take a moment and breathe, okay? When we get our mask on, that's the number one thing. When we're up there at altitude, is preserve the O2 source, preserve the breathing source. We put the mask on and then uh, we take a moment to, to absorb what just happened and we start down. Don't, don't misinterpret that for doing things in a lackadaisical fashion, but rather gaining situational awareness and not acting without analyzing. That's really what I'm getting at with that. All right, so I hope this message finds you well. Uh, I'm gonna do another video here shortly on Airspeed Unreliable because there's a lot of very key uh, elements and important things I wanna talk to you about uh, with the Airspeed Unreliable. So I'm gonna take you through the memory item here in a future video and also why the memory item is laid out the way it is and some very important things you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to with the memory item. I look forward to your comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, uh, like this video, like the channel, and leave your comments below. Uh, we do very much read through those and we look forward to uh, serving you at the highest level in future videos. All right, Joe Munoz is the name, onestepprep.com. I'll see you in another video.